and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Roshni Dhal. Let's look at today's top news. NEET PG 2024 exam to be held on 7th of July. The NEET PG 2024 examination has been postponed till 2024 July. While earlier the exam was scheduled to be conducted on 3rd of March, it has now been rescheduled to be held on 7th of July. The NBE has confirmed. Issuing a notice, NBE, the authority in charge of conducting the examination, has confirmed that the exam shall now be conducted on 7th of July and the cutoff date for eligibility to appear in the NEET PG shall be 15th of August 2024. The Union Health Ministry has notified the revised Schedule M guidelines under which pharmaceutical companies will have to intimate the licensing authority about recalling a drug and also report product defects, deterioration or faulty production. Till now, there was no provision for informing the licensing authority about drug recall. Schedule M, part of Drugs and Cosmetics Act 1940, deals with good manufacturing practices to be followed by pharmaceutical manufacturing units in the country. The new guidelines issued on 28th of December state the manufacturer must to be responsible for the quality of the products so that they are fit for their intended use, comply with the requirements of the license and do not place patients at risk due to inadequate safety, quality or efficacy. These guidelines come against the backdrop of complaints of substandard Indian drugs and deaths abroad reportedly due to it since 2022. WHO cuts delivery of medical supplies to North Gaza. The WHO said it has been compelled to cancel a mission to bring medical supplies to Northern Gaza on Sunday after failing to receive security guarantees. It was the fourth time WHO had to call off a planned mission to bring urgently needed medical supplies to Al Awadha Hospital and the central drugstore in Northern Gaza since 26th of December. On Monday, UP reported its first case of the JN.1 strain of COVID. The case involved a 35-year-old doctor affiliated with Sir Gangaram Hospital in Delhi who tested positive on 1st of January after visiting her relatives in Vishali. Since then, she was in the NCR city at the time of receiving her results. Delhi Cross notified the case. Following a genome testing confirming the presence of the new strain, the health directorate in Lucknow received information from Delhi and alerted health officials in Ghaziabad. Subsequently, two relatives, the doctor had visited Citizen in Vishali were tested and they tested negative for COVID on Tuesday. The city's last known case of COVID was a 34-year-old woman on January 2nd and currently there are three active cases in the city. Days following the gruesome incident where the CEO of a startup brutally killed her four-year-old child, doctors have revealed disturbing details based on a post-mortem report. The child was smothered to death at a service apartment in Goa, according to medical professionals. The CEO, Suchana Seth, was apprehended in Chitra Durga while travelling to Bengaluru with the lifeless body of her child in a suitcase. The doctors disclosed that there were no signs of struggle on the boy's body. Dr. Kumar Nayak, the administrative officer at Hiriyur Taluk Hospital, stated, that the child was strangled to death or what we call smothering, either a cloth or a pillow was used. The child died due to strangulation. Importantly, the doctor clarified that the child was not strangled using hands, suggesting the use of a pillow or another material. There were no indications of blood loss or struggle marks on the child's body. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.